Welcome back to Let's Play Colonization, friends. I'm going to put this privateer in sentry mode. If someone sails by this privateer, he'll awaken. But for the time being, I don't see any ships that need to be plundered. And our scout is still guarding our treasure. Our dragoon is still trying to rescue that treasure. Perhaps with limited success. And our pioneer is still building a gigantic road from Boston to Knobscot. We might put a colony in the middle here somewhere. I haven't decided. And we were cleansing this area of Tupi renegades. Looks pretty clean. Oh, there's one. But I'm only at two-thirds strength. And our indentured servant in Plymouth is learning to be a fisherman. Let's get this guy back on the oar. Soon he'll be an expert fisherman. Really churning them out. One, two, three, four. We've got to get our farmer out there. One, two, three. And here's a merchantman that awakened our privateer. 27 sugar. I don't really need 27 sugar. Tell you what, I'm going to have this treasure move this way. Ooh, that was weird. Yep, there's a Frenchman on the river. I noticed that. Alright, now we've got some defense. And I may as well attack this caravel. Yeah, that's right, your caravel was damaged. Master gunsmiths are now available. That would be useful in Plymouth, where we have an armory and some tools. I actually have to get the get a pioneer over here. Or, I don't know, just give someone some tools. I don't want sugar. Whoops. I wasn't trying to enter that colony, I was just trying to move my unit. Move the gold first, please. One, two, three. One. Oh, I don't want to go to Santa Domingo. I don't know why I did that. Three. And I'll go into sentry here. One, two, three. Four. Sentry. Price of rum. Wow, rum's worth a lot of money right now. And we have some more horses at Roanoke. Good. Let's have a look at the prices here. Rum is really high for the for the time being. Silver's high. Cigars and cigars average. Cloth is pretty high. Goats are cheap. Goats are really cheap. Everything else is pretty average. I don't know where I'm going to put this farmer. Maybe... maybe Knobscot. And I'm going to go to London with this privateer to go get the gunsmith. One, two, three. Wait for the treasure. One, two, three. This pioneer is on a roll. One, two, three. One, two, three. Apache are going to get burned. And the Dutch are now at war with the French. I think I know why. The price of rum is out of control. Cloth is really expensive. Ooh, Magellan. Yeah, I didn't see that. So now all of our ships can sail longer every season, and they go to and from Europe faster. Excellent. This is why the Dutch and the French are at war. The French are not doing so good. I want this caravel to go to Knobscot. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. You can just stay right there. One, two, three. And the pioneer is going to try and build a road through this mountain, which is going to take a while. Oh, 
could go either way. Unfortunately, it did not go our way. And here's a weaver trying to defend himself against horrible Spanish dragoons. Well, Spanish got an obscot. This angers me somehow. Alright, who's going to join the Continental Congress next? Will it be Adam Smith? Probably. Maybe Francisco Coronado. All existing colonies in the area around them have become visible on the map. That's a good thing, but it only happens once when this guy joins the Congress. So I, I could just do that later. Francis Drake. Combat strength of privateers are increased by 50%. That's nice, but I don't need it. Simon Bolivar. Sons of Liberty membership is increased by 20%. You know, again, another one-time thing that's more useful later on than earlier. And William Brewster. No more criminals or servants appear on the docks and you select which immigrant will appear. I think Adam Smith is probably the most useful because he allows things to... He allows things to... He allows these factories to be built, which, as it says, are more efficient than the smaller uh, workshops. Adam Smith it is. And a colonist has become a fisherman. So now the instructor will leave. And the blacksmith will, once again, be a blacksmith. And then we can get uh, our, our gunsmith, when he comes from Europe, over to here. And he can start making muskets. Rebel sentiment is rising. How nice. How... There! Let's get this treasure over here. And the treasure couldn't make it across the river. Of course. I'm going to try and get this soldier all the way back to Roanoke for horses. Got to rehorse him. Ah, yes, the Apache. I demand tribute. And who are these guys? Colonists in Boston. Did I drop some colonists in Boston? You know, when you have a large surplus of food, sometimes colonists just appear. They just are born. So that might have been it. Because I don't remember putting any... Oh, no, 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 no. These guys, these guys, these colonists are from the... the. Uh, they're the ones we rescued from way up here around California. So they finally reached Boston. And this particular guy is going to work in the town hall for for the time being. Alright, now I'm ready to attack this guy. Got two ships here. One, two, three, four, five. It evades, yeah, let's try that again. Something ate sugar and something ore. Six ore? Eight ore? I don't know. Nothing that valuable. And the Apache are attacking us again. Ouch. And they've stolen our horses. I hate those Apache. They're just trying to get our precious, our precious, our precious treasure. And let's let us remain in port. I am going to purchase some artillery. Artillery is very good for for defending a town. And I think we could use some of that. Or it's good for attacking a town, and I think we could use some of that. So I will buy some artillery. And set sail for the New World with our gunsmith and our artillery. Alright, wait for the treasure. Wait for the treasure. Oh, you are not getting away. Something coats and ore. Goodbye. Oh, look, the Dutch captured Cayenne. I don't want 68 sugar, and I don't want 8 ore. I'll go on sentry here. 1, 2, 3. So Plymouth is now 50% in favor of independence, and that means everything in Plymouth is more efficient. You can see that because of the color of the, of the number in front of this of this icon here. Cool! Good for Plymouth. Alright. 
go over to Roanoke here. And I think... I don't really need this guy in Roanoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building... building at the lumber mill with the fishermen, and then I'm going to take this colonist over here and move him to Plymouth to train as a carpenter. It'd be easier to b just build a, a schoolhouse here, but I'm not there yet. Or actually, you know what I have to do here? I need soldiers. Yeah, I just need soldiers. I hate to do it, but... He was an extra guy. Price of muskets rose. Alright, let's wait for the treasure. That's how we do this. Let's bring our ship up to where we need it. Here, we'll just sit here in the in the uh, delta of the Mississippi. Wait for the treasure. I don't need ore. I might be able to trade those coats. Want some coats? We see that you have brought some low-quality coats to trade with us. Uh, alright. Let the coats be our gift to you. And they, they offer sugar, ore, and furs. I don't want that crap, frankly. Alright, our pioneer has completed a road through the mountains. Get out of my way. Oh, come on. The Aztec tribe has fallen upon hard times and does not have enough food this season. We will definitely offer food to the Aztec. And they give us ore in return. And the Tupi are angry. Tupi are very angry. And Plymouth needs more tools. I'll move the carpenter over to make more tools. Can't really do much with that because we're going to run out of ore in a second, but whatever. We need a lot of tools in Plymouth right now. Ships and wagon trains. Oh, I, I, I ordered these guys over to Knobscott. That was bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three. One, two, three, four. Go on sentry. One, two, three. Build the road. One, two, three. One, two, three. New Spain, New Spain, New Spain. We don't have pirates, but we are willing to be at peace with you temporarily. Go in peace. Aztec gave us sugar for no reason. And the Cherokee. Now the Cherokee have sunk to a new low, and they are trying to steal our treasure. This will not do any favors for the Cherokee's life expectancy. And oh look, we're blocking these, these Spaniards from getting into Knobscot. Well, guess what? It's our town. And Tatupi are attacking us. This is not going to go well. And the muskets have been stolen. Thank you. I'm glad the colon has survived. And I can't do anything more with this carpenter here because we're out of ore, so we're just going to produce tools at the rate of 8 per turn until I have 100, and then I can put a fort into Plymouth. All right, what am I going to do with this farmer? I suppose I could take him over to over to uh, Boston, but I'd rather just be a B in the Spanish... Bo oh, fine. Fine, I'll just sit here. I'll just blockade them. One, two, three, four, five. Have the gunsmiths get off here. The gunsmith will, 
wait. But I can't do that, because then he's gonna use tools. Ah. Fine. Make Liberty Bells. One, two... And this guy is going to be a soldier, as I said. He'll use 50 tons of horses and 50 tons of muskets, but he's going to be a soldier. I can afford it. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Look at these... Look at these Dutch swarming around the Mississippi. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sentry again. One, two, three. It'll be a miracle if we get get our 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 treasure out of there. These guys need horses. What else is new? Plymouth Horses Party. This offends me. <laughs> no. Sons of Liberty throw 24 tons of horses into the sea at Plymouth. Hideous. Why have they done this to those poor horses? Hideous. Alright, come on. I need these guys at... This is tedious. Alright, fine. Go right here. Right there. Sentry again. Move the treasure. And our pioneer ran out of tools. Happens to every pioneer. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the Toopy are angry. Roanoke produced a church. Good for Roanoke. What am I going to build in Roanoke now? How about... A warehouse expansion. That's something we can use. Yes, yes, I know, there's not enough tools. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I will unload these guys here. And I will attack this stupid merchantman with a hundred muskets in it. Excellent. What happened? Wait, what? The merchantman was... Were there two of them? Yeah, there were two of them. That was weird. Apparently one of them was sunken, and the other one had a hundred muskets on it, which we grabbed. Check it out. Also, get this treasure on here. It's a good thing for the Apache that this treasure has reached its destination safely. Bad things happen to Indians who steal my treasure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. And this colonist is out of tools. This pioneer is out of tools again. So I'm going to have him go back to Boston. Wait for the soldier. Wait, why did I load the... Why did I load the... Blah. Why did I load the scout on there? I don't know why I did that. One, two. Spanish soldiers routed. What happened? Toopy attacked them or something? Toopy are out of control. Fort's almost done. Hey, what happened to my farmer? Did I get stuck on the privateer or something? Oh, there he is. And I will take the muskets over to Roanoke. I don't think I have any horses in Boston. No, I don't. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I will ferry those guys over to Roanoke. Or Plymouth, where... Yeah, there's no horses in Plymouth because they got thrown into the ocean. Remember that? Ridiculous. I'll have a wagon train move some horses over to Plymouth. Next time on Let's Play Colonization, we have got to strike against the Spanish. I've got the right tools at Knobscot. I don't think Knobscot's going to survive, but, well, at least the stupid Spanish aren't going to have it. 
we continue building our road from Boston to whatever town I'm going to put here after Nobscot is burned to the ground. And the exploration expedition is restarted. See you then!